What do I love about BMX? I think it's uh, it's over and done with very quick. It's fast, it's furious. Um, there is no time to question or think about anything except 110%. So I love the adrenaline, I love to go fast. Tell us in 30 seconds or so how um, this season, the 2015 season, has gone for you so far. 2015 has been uh, successful at this stage. Um, had a couple of wins in the National Series. Uh, training's been going very well. Uh, we've just started the World Cup circuit, so uh, things are kicking, ticking along nicely and, um, and excited for a very big year. And what about the last 12 months? Um, tell, tell us about how you, your last 12 months has been and, and what you've achieved. The last 12 months have been um, tough, definitely, um, up and down, um, but I think overall it's actually been a very positive thing. I've had to take a step back and, and look at myself and where I'm at um, and be honest and uh, and really put my head down and, um, and get some work done. So I've been able to do that with my coach, Sean Dwight, um, and we've, yeah, we've had some, some tough times and learnt a lot. Um, certainly hasn't been smooth, but I think um, the last five to six months have been awesome um, in terms of some solid training and starting the 2015 year, um, fairly successful with getting a couple of wins in my home state in Perth um, a couple of months back was, was certainly a huge confidence booster. So I'm excited for the year ahead and national championships tomorrow. What are your expectations for those national championships? Um, I mean, what are, you, what are you goals have you set yourself and, and to achieve those goals, what have you got to do? Yeah, uh, nationals is always, a, it's a massive race on the calendar. Um, even though we, you know, we're looking ahead at some bigger international events, um, to come back in Australia and, and perform in front of everybody and um, we've certainly got a tough um, elite women's field. Um, so obviously, uh, you know, just excited about on the, a big course out here. Hopefully the weather holds off. Um, but yeah, obviously I want to be, who doesn't want to be national champion? It's certainly a big honour um, and, you know, get the sleeve. And um, so I'm certainly punching to try and, you know, take the title. But, um, you know, there's, there's obviously little steps in between. And um, just to, for me, work on my own personal things, um, you know, smooth laps, get some fast times, give myself the best possible chance. Um, and hopefully, um, hopefully I can take it this year. Um, you talked about an, an elite field. Um, Australia is is a lead. I mean, if you look over on the start ramp, you're going to see um, other girls that have podiumed for at World Championships or um, World Cups. You podiumed at a World Championship. Um, does that inspire you, or does that sort of daunt you? No, it's uh, it's certainly inspire, inspiring to um, have the level that we do of women um, to get up on the hill and to start next to. Um, I've been competing with Caroline and Melinda for quite some time, um, and then obviously there's Rachel coming along too. So we're always sort of travelling together. We know each other pretty well uh, personally, um, which is a good and a bad thing, I guess. Uh, but it comes with the sport and where we're at. So um, yeah, I mean Caroline obviously won uh, last weekend's Manchester World Cup. So you know she's clearly one of the fastest in the world. Um, so be able to, you know, have the opportunity to race her, um, you know, often in Australia and, and travel with her and, and do all that. Um, it's, you know, it's motivating. I, I want to beat her. There's no, there's nothing to hide. Like, you know, she's the one to beat and, um, and I'm certainly going to do what I can to do that. Um, but, you know, there's, yeah, it's a tough field. It's, it's a big wide open track. Um, it definitely, I think, suits my style of riding. So I'm excited just to try and put down a good lap and, um, and just do what I can. And if I can, you know, finish the lap knowing I've given it all and, and, um, and tick the boxes that I wanted to do and accomplish within the, the race, then I'll, I'll walk away happy. And whether that be first, second, third or whatever. Um, but yeah, certainly chasing to, to be number one this year. Um. You mentioned before you've had a couple of wins in the National Series. You've had some really good rides this year um, domestically. Um, but over the last 12 months with injury and, and different things, you haven't quite reached the heights of the year 2013 on the international stage. Do you think a win here can really be a springboard? Absolutely. Um, it's a win, I think, is such a, has such a flow on effect. Um, and I felt just from winning in Perth um, a month or so back was such a massive thing for me. Um, even though it was only a domestic race, it, it meant a lot. And obviously, like we've just spoke of, competing against the likes of Caroline, who's um, very fast on the international stage. So, um, yeah, I think I just need to keep ticking and another win um, here and there will be, you know, mean so much. And I think it's going to really snowball and help on the, the international stage. Um, away from the bike, what or who have sort of been the biggest influences on you personally and as a sports person? Um, probably more recently within the last few years, my coach, Sean Dwight. Um, 
he's a, he's an interesting man. Um, a lot would know, but he's uh, he means a lot to me. He's done so much to help me, um, and yeah, behind the scenes. So I think um, you know we all have our favourites within um, sports and superstars and all that, but. Um, for me personally, I have a really tight group with, um, get to train with Sam Willoughby, uh, his partner Elise Post and, and with our coach Sean. So um, to me that means a lot to me and, um, and they're very motivating, inspirational kind of people, very tough, tough guys to, to deal with and um, you certainly, you know, you get knocked back for sure and you, you learn things the tough way but um, that's what I need and I feel like that's honestly been the probably the best thing that's happened to me in the last few years to try and work my way up to where I'm heading now. And um, I certainly think I'm on the right track and um, mentally, physically, all aspects of performing, um, we're getting there. So it's been tough, but um, but right now he's, he's a massive part of my life and, um, and hopefully moving forward, we can have some success. Um, we're going away from the bike, but oh. I mean, it might be as part of the bike as well, but what makes you tick? What what, what makes you want to get up in the mornings and, and be the best? Like coffee. Animals? I love coffee. That gets me up in the morning. No, um, I'm, I'm a happy kind of chick. I love, um, you know, to me, it's all about vibes, good energy, good vibes, who's around me. Um, it's I'm pretty plain, to be honest. There's nothing special about me. I'm a country girl, um, but I just... I just love being around the right people, um, just happy. I get to ride my bike. Um, I love to keep busy. I hate sitting still, so that irritates me. Um, so I just I just li try and live somewhat of a busy life. Um, but it's uh, if I know I can get up and have a coffee and head to training and, and try and get the most out of me in that day, whether it be on or off the bike, and just to be a better person. Always trying to um, improve, I think as a person and um, and grow and learn and um, and yeah just meeting some interesting people on the way and um, but honestly there's nothing to nothing special about me it's just um, I just want to be happy and, and love what I do and make the most of it it's not going to last forever um, and uh, hopefully it's yeah it goes the way I want it to. That's a great answer. Um, just finally um, it's only 16 months until the Olympics are you, are you do you wake up at night dreaming about it or do you wake up every morning thinking about it? Olympic Games, yeah. Um, it's not far away. Um, obviously I competed in London and I sort of, I look back to that journey and it was crazy. Um, it was emotional and it was tough but um, honestly I haven't been trying to, it's not, on the, it's not on the top of my list, it's not what I wake up thinking about, definitely not. Um, I, I try and squash anything Olympics when it comes up. I just don't want to think about it. It's there's too much to, I think, to work on prior. Um, there's no point getting excited right now because anything can happen. There's no one who's certain to go. There's no team selection. So um, right now I'm just trying to be just trying to be better at what I do. Um, and obviously it's exciting and forever being asked questions about it and you've got to, you know, show the respect and, and try and answer correctly. But um, right now it's, you know, it's in the back of my mind. It's there. There's no denying that. But... Um, yeah, I don't wake up thinking about it. It's obviously each day closer it comes around. Um, but then I look back to this time in 2011 prior to London where things were, what we were doing as a, as a team, um, the riders who were performing well and all that stuff. And come London Olympics, it was almost completely opposite. So, um, you know, that's to me, it's like you can't jump the gun. No one can. Anything can happen. So it's exciting and I, I can't wait. But... Um, yeah, right now it's just race by race and for now it's um, the Continental Championships and the National Championships in the next few days and then um, Holland World Cup next weekend, so that's on my to-do list. Okay, that's a different answer to everyone else, which is great. Um, just one more on that Olympic thing, and, and yourself, you, you went to London um, four years on, or th almost four years on, three years on now, what's, um, what's different about Lauren Reynolds? Um, a lot. I think I've really grown up as a person. Um, I've learnt a lot. Um, things are more into reality, put into reality now, where you're at, just life, life experiences. And um, it's, I don't know, it's not all bells and whistles, I think, um, is what people think. Um, but I've, I've made a lot of changes um, on and off the bike. Um, I, 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 love, I love to reflect back on it. 
because I can then see oh, where am I where am I now what have I done different is it good is it bad um, so it's just it's all a challenge it's all fun it's 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 all learning and making changes making mistakes and having to you know move past that and um, yeah I'm just working with different people now um, I've got new sponsors I've got new people who I think have faith have trust you know believe in me which is exciting it's refreshing um, and it's just good energy so I'm yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm super excited, don't get me wrong, I'm, Olympics is, you know, it's not far away and I'm very excited about it, but um, I'm not going to, nothing's, you know, not going to jump the gun. Um, so, yeah, I, I love to reflect back on London and then look forward to now where I'm at and, and then obviously in the future again what's to come and how I can continue to improve as a person and on the track.